Hi, welcome back to another tutorial. That's what we like to achieve today. Just balconies going along some splines. There you go, all right? All right, let's get started. I've got the file prepared here. I'll show you what we got. There we go, just ground floor level one, level two. I have a couple of balconies and those balconies I like to copy up. I got a 20 story building. So I've prepared this. Let's have a quick look here. Story settings, level one, going all the way up to level 20. I've got a height of three meters. And I show you the elevation, which as you can see, I prepared a couple of splines. So the purpose of this tutorial is copy the, the level ups and then we move the balconies along those splines to get a really nice, smooth design. All right, first thing I do is actually go back in here. I take those splines and we make a copy and we go back down here. It doesn't really matter which level you are. I just start on level one and paste them into this view. All right, the next bit is we take a wall I just want to have sort of a thickness of the spline, so it's just 200, let's make it 400. Uh, the height doesn't matter, material doesn't matter, and even the layer down here, it doesn't matter because you pretty much delete this after. All right, and I go in the center, I use my space click, there you go. All right, so we got those walls now. 400 wide. The next bit is we do is we select all this and we use reshape. And I want to explode it into the current view. I don't need the original elements. There we go. So that's exploded now. And from there, take the marquee tool, go to the fill, select all. We only got the fills now and we copy this. Then we open the profile manager and we add a new one. We call this balcony spline. There we go. And zoom out a bit and we paste it back in. All right. So I move this to my origin. There you go. So they're all fills now and we select them and give them a surface. It's called material off for now. It doesn't really matter to be honest, but it's just sort of a habit. And we store the profile. Let's get back here. And now to place this profile, I use a wall. There we go. I choose my balcony spline again surface doesn't matter but out of a habit let's put this on material off and the layer doesn't matter all right there we go so we put this spline in here okay we drag a bit more over here there we go and let's see what we got in the elevation for now All right, that's my spline. As you can see, I made them um, the other way around. So first bit I like to do is take this and we just mirror, mirror them around. Let's do it here to make sure what we do here. Mirror. Okay, and we go back in here. So that should be much better now. Ah, there you go. All you have to do is now you take this and you move it into place, just roughly because obviously it's it's a design. You do a bit of, you know, bit bit, bit of it is pretty much with your eye, just to make it look nice. All right, let's see if I go back here. As you can see, you can see where the cuts are. 
There's a bit of gray area there. See? See, if you go up, watch this. I stay here. If I go up my stories, it will move through it. Okay? Also, it's short. So, what I didn't do is, see, it's good. It happens in tutorial. Let's select this and you have to make sure, see, home story only. I want to see it on all relevant stories. All right, let's try that again. So if I go up now, ah, there you go. You see how this cart moves? See, it keeps moving, moving. The further up I go. All right, so I go back again. And that, that's the cut of the spline. So what I gotta do is now with every level, I'll move them just to match this up. All right, so let's start level one. It's going to 3D to see what we got here. Sometimes a bit easier. Ah, there we go, perfect. All right, so I will take this level now, which is level one, and I copy this up 20 times. Now this by itself is actually quite something new in Archicad 21. Uh, level one, level two. All right, level two. So we select this, and if you copy this now up, um, obviously we elevate, increment, and we go to. I'm on level two. Let's do another eighteen then. And vertical displacement. I need three meters. Okay, and watch this. I show you what happens if you do. I think Archicad 2019 doesn't have this. I, I'm not sure anymore, but you can set a home story. They just don't tick this for now. I see what I'll tell you what happens. Okay, so it's copying all this up, and it obviously says, Oh, you know, in unseen stories, blah blah blah. You gotta continue. All right, so if I go now into my 3D. There we go. That looks pretty good. Problem is, if you go up to the next floor in your 2D, it's not there. I can turn this off. See, it's gone. It doesn't show up. And that is because, let's go back down and we undo this. Go back in here and you can see I'm back sort of to square one. So what you have to do is, you take the whole level, you copy it up as before. All right, take the right tool, 18300, but this time set home story by elevation. This is really, really cool actually. So you do this, hit OK. It does the same thing as before. All right. Going to 3D, and you can see we got all the stories up there. But that's no different at all. But you go back now, and if I go to the next level, I'm on level two at the moment. Let's go to level three, four, and you can see it moved everything by level. So you got all your drawings still now in place, which is really really good feature. All right, next bit, let's start at level two. What you have to do is next, obviously, we have now to move our balconies around. For this purpose, let's go back to level one. And that's the starting point, which is in the middle, middle, middle. So what we do is, it's easier for us to have this one actually on an edge here. Okay, actually what I do is first, this is gray here, and I think it's easier if, you, if this shows up a bit strong, like in red. So what you can do is we can go over at cut fill pen. I go to the foreground, foreground, and let's just make this red. It's just a bit easier to see. See, that's red now. And I like also to have those ones actually on the corner here. It is much easier. So just drag this over. All right, so we've got level one. I leave level one, let's go to level two. And you see that moved a little bit, that moved a little bit. Let's go back again. You know, that one is still tiny, but it doesn't matter because it really just sort of moved according to the spline. But that's okay, awesome. We could level two, 
Make sure the groups are suspended and now we use the marquee tool. So from there, you take the marquee, you click on the corner, yeah, it just moved a little bit. Now this one, like I said, almost did move, but you still, you know, still, still, still do it. And we take this one to there. Let's have a quick look at uh, the elevation, what happens here. So there you go, see that this started to move according to our splines. So I do two more and then I will speed it up quickly because it's always the same. So I'm going up to the next level now, which is level three. Marquee tool, as you can see, this moves quite a lot. This one here moves there and this one moves there very little go another one up like i said do one more and then we will speed it up for you okay have another look ah, there you see it's starting to go this one too this one too all right, I'll speed this up for you and then we see what it looks like. All right, let's do this. All right, we're almost done here, up to level 19 now. By the way, if you notice, instead of drawing this, you can also just, if it's drawn the marquee, you can just move it over here. It's a bit easier than to, than to redraw it every time. And Level 20, last one here. Oops, I'll just redo that again. Probably a habit thing. There we go. Right, the last thing, what happened there? All right, it's probably not long enough. Let's have a quick look before I move this. This can happen. Not a problem, all right. There you go, balconies look great. So this one is going that way. Okay, so let's just for now move it roughly there and get back to our elevation. That's pretty good, I think. I'm quite happy with that. All right. There you go, this looks great. What I do is now next, we um, move this to a layer you can turn off or have turned off, cutting elements, and let's have a look at 3D. There you go, nice along the splines. I think that looks great. Let's have a quick look. The elevation again, I'm gonna turn the spline off. There you go. So that's pretty much, pretty much along the first splines we had. All right, let's render one up for you before I go. Just a quick one. Okay, that's all done, it's looking good. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you'll be back next time. Bye for now.